Dual Review is brought to you by NexusDigitalComics.com. On today's Dual Review, some of our favorite NES games. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Everybody, today is the 21st of August, and uh, so we're in this new location. Uh, we brought a whole bunch of our vintage game systems, vintage, <laughs> vintage. and uh, we're hooking them up because we're going to play some game labs and just you know have some fun. And so we came across some of the old NES games that we haven't played for a long time, but uh, we have been very fond of over the years. So we thought we'd bring a couple of them to your attention, and we might even do a game lab, you know, based on this. I don't know. Yeah, but, sometime in the near future. But anyway, so, nice. we're, so we're taking a, a look at three of them in particular. Right. So we're going to start off with uh, Metal Storm, and um, this, was, this was an interesting one. This one was actually kind of revolutionary because it was the first one to use, um, they, they call it a gravity feature. Well, I don't know if they call it, but that's essentially what it is, is they refer to it as gravity. But it's really, you start off on the bottom, uh, you know, scrolling along, but you have the ability to, to flip over so that you're crawling on the ceiling. It's just a gravity yeah, conversion. Time. Right. So it's, it's actually, it adds a whole new dynamic, and because, you know, uh, you're this little mech suit and you're firing and there's enemies on top, you have to kind of jump and avoid things. And, and gates that, yeah, that flip yeah. open or closed and you have to time it right sometimes, or yeah. Right. So it was actually a very interesting dynamic and, and one that I think uh, they did really well with. But another thing that they did was they were the first one to do... Um, what is the term? It's a parallax scrolling kind of. So essentially, you have uh, you have the foreground where your character moves. You have the background, and then beyond the background is another background. Uh, and basically, as this one background moves, the other one just slowly moves, so you get a feeling of depth. Um, now they only did that in partial. They didn't really do that because the the graphics, I mean the uh, memory card couldn't fit all that information. Um, so they kind of did tiling, and and each time it, the screen moved, uh, a new background was put in place to give it the feel. So they really just kind of tricked it out. They they pimped it out. Okay, so that I'm, was very. Interesting. I'm a little nervous with you saying it's the first one to do like the gravity thing. I'm I'm almost positive. Where as opposed to well, okay, it's not. Again, it's not really gravity, because gravity is a physics. This right, wasn't really right. a physics. This was just flipping over the side, uh, or, you know, flipping I, to the ceiling. And I'm pretty sure they, that they were the first ones to do that. Now, other people had scrolled around, you know, like, uh, like a box, you know, you could walk around it. Um, but this one, as far as I know, was the first one where you can jump onto the ceiling whenever you wanted. But it was a very overlooked game in its day, right. um, which is why it's hard to find now. In fact, uh, you can find it on eBay, but for like three hundred dollars, I don't know who would buy that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's we're awesome. still hoping to f come across a copy, you know, uh, locally. Uh, he has it emulated, um, but uh, I really want a physical copy. But I haven't been able to find one yet, except for the, the you know ex right. extravagant <clears throat> amount. Three hundred dollars is too much. And it came out in nineteen ninety one, which is pretty much right when the NES was closing and the SNES was beginning. Yeah, I actually thought it was earlier than that. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Well, of the three, this was the oldest of them. Of the three that we're talking about now. Okay. Um, so the next game that we wanted to bring to your attention was Ikari Warriors, and that one we do have. Oops. Keep sliding things around. Here we go. And it's even got the nice little Nintendo sleeve, if you remember. Throw it all the way. Let's try this way. Bam. So Ikari Warriors. Uh, is a great game. It was one that everyone loved in the uh, in the in the arcade, not necessarily the NES in the arcade. What they loved about the That's arcade it. version was the um, the joystick was a, a, a rotating joystick. So while it did move in all eight directions, you can also twist to aim different directions. Now that made it that was very impossible to do on the NES console. So essentially, you really had to walk in the direction that you were firing, which you know, worked. Don't get me wrong. We still love the game. Yeah. We can still play yeah, it for it hours. So but yeah, it, it wasn't as cool as that. Uh, what is the actual term? Rotary joystick. That's what it's called. Yeah, it's one of those um, you know two-player, just like Contra and Double Dragon, you know, stuff that we remember fondly. Um, the aesthetic of this cartridge is classic, like awesome, like '80s, like dude in a mustache with a right. headband. Right. It's uh, freaking awesome. A lot of this, a lot of this was um, taken off of the Rambo movies, which just came out. Right. In fact, um, the second or third Rambo, I can't remember, uh, was the the subtitle of it in Japan had Ikari in the title. Ikari is a uh, Japanese for Fury, I think. Uh, in any case, um, what I wanted to say was these characters, um, Raf and Carl or Paul and Vince, depending on where you are, um, 
they were also moved into the Kings of Fighters series, so you'll see them in there as well. So it is a great scene. You get you get grenades and tanks and uh, those different letters that do you know the different uh, power ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just kind of this classic thing, like the mines that move around. You got a lot of the same enemies, but you know you learn that the red ones drop things, and you got bunkers you got to destroy, and then there's of course you know the end bosses that you have to fight, and it's just one of those things you pick up and play for a long time uh, with your buddy and. Uh, but it's fairly simple by today's standards. So yeah. In fact, all of these games really are. Although Metal Storm is pretty complex. But anyway, uh, that's why we chose to speak of a couple of them. Uh, right. But yes, Ikari Warriors, I'm sure we'll probably be doing a game. It was one of the first games we played when we moved into this new space and hooked up the system. So yeah, which we have right here. The Nintendo's right there. But the very first game that we played... Oh, was uh, The Legend of Cage. Now, this was another arcade ported over to the NES. Um, and this is a, a great game. In fact, I like the NES version better because in addition to the scrolls, which you get in... Oh, well, let me, let me start over. So essentially, Legend of Cage is the story of Cage, your warrior, who is after... We must save the princess who has been taken away by two... Yeah, two, two ninja... Two warring ninja clans. So what, what's awesome about it is exactly what he did. Um, you start off... What, you, what you're able to do is just kind of like jump at like great feats of height, like ninja style. You know, there's all yeah, but ones. once you start jumping, you can't you can't end. I mean, you know, you yeah, have you, to complete the jump unless right. you hit a plateau or something. Right, but you can slice and throw ninja stars, and yeah, it's awesome, yeah. and it's just great. It's, a it's wonderful got awesome game. sound effects. <laughs> it's just little little things. <laughs> right, it's it it is fast paced. You get this awesome like power up thing where if you can find it because it's kind of hard. It's this little tiny like little orangey yellowy square. It's a if scroll. you find it, it's like. Ooh, and people just keep dying. right, right. The scroll, the scroll. Essentially, uh, once you get the scroll, you start meditating in midair, and and everyone who kind of jumps into the screen just sort of dies and falls. Yeah, it's, it's like they're hitting an invisible barrier and just dying and yeah. falling to the ground. And uh, then there's yeah, the orbs or whatever. Right, and that that's the difference Change between the that's the difference between the NES version and the uh, the the arcade. The arcade didn't have the orbs, the colored orbs. But essentially, those are more or less power ups. But in in addition, they're also uh, I guess defense. So you know, one uh, like what is it? You it's start like off, you start off red, and then you turn like green, and then gold, or something like that. Yeah. And uh, you know, one is either bigger shurikens or or uh, faster movement. But once you get hit, you revert back to the red. And once you're hit once with the red, with the red suit on, uh, then you just die. Is that supposed to be a sword or a tanfa? Uh, it's a sword. It's actually there's a specific name for it, but it's a short sword. So yeah, it's a okay. Sword. Because it just kind of comes out like a stick and like rotates. So. Right, right. But it's awesome. Yeah, this is another game that I've spent a lot. Of, again, this is my game. This is like one of my prized possessions as far as NES games, and I loved it for a long time. I think I traded like four other games for it or something. And I just have a lot of fun. It's it's just it's kind of repetitive. I mean, you have the level where there's a little bit of water and you're jumping mostly up, and then right. you have most levels are like through the trees to the you know, right typical side scrolling yeah, versus yeah. going up. And you fight uh, these baddies with that breathe fire, and <laughs> it's just it's just a lot of fun. Right. Um, there is a sequel on the DS that you can that you can get, and there was one ported over in high definition or something like that, and they they just remade it uh, for I think the PlayStation Portable, but I'm not sure about that. Okay. Yeah, I think of all three of these, I think Metal Storm is the best one right even though it's the you know it's, well that's hardest why, to find yeah. the least produced or the least well known um but yeah it's pretty awesome so if you come across it you know buy it immediately just it you know if it's like 20 bucks or less yeah you go get it. jackpot yeah you can sell that thing for more if you wanted to <laughs> yeah although i wouldn't recommend it anyways uh what else is there yeah that's it uh, so, if you have any other suggestions for us, we're definitely going to be looking into doing a lot more retro games. So, if you have suggestions, let us know. Um, keep watching our game labs. You know, we'll have some, you know, from time to time, I'm sure. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, please leave comments. We love comments. And you can support us and our new location by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, card games, what have you. All sorts of greatness. Go get it. Thanks, guys. See ya. Oh, I think I'm just angled on. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. It's, it's so different than our other thing. Coming up on Door Review, the Mass Effect 3 toys. Waiting for Nick, I'm waiting for Nick. Hurry up, Nick, I can't wait all day. So yeah, we're still working on trying to reduce the echo a little bit.
I was talking to you. I'm talking to my millions of viewers. Billions upon trillions of viewers. I don't know. I don't know. New location, same old singing. Hey everybody, welcome to the 21st of August. Uh, we are going to take a look at a few of our favorite NES games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like, I don't like that. Mm. Yeah. I am a black dot. You cannot see me because I am a black dot. You have a huge head. I do. It's so big it can't be captured. Draw what? a little smiley face over here. That's what you should do. Let me sit down. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I got one, I got one big ear. One big... 